Trey Turner. What's up, big man? How you doing? Man, I'm doing good. How good. about you? Can't complain. So, man, you're tall, you're fast. Where all the speed come from? Uh, both my parents try to claim uh, claim the speed. My grandpa tries to claim the speed as well. So, uh, I guess a little bit of good genetics and some uh, some hard work. All right. Well, you, as you know, stealing bases isn't just about speed. It's about lead, intelligence, all that too. So, I'm excited to pick your brain about this because you're one of the best in the league. So, we'll assume right now we've already got a base hit. You stand on first base. Yep. Let's pick it up here as you talk to some people at home. What do you start to think about as far as getting a lead, and what are you thinking when you get on? Uh, first thing, you know, always look at the scoreboard, count who's up, score, uh, who's pitching, who's catching. Uh, try to gather as much information as I can. Um, also, pick up the third base coach, see if he, you know, is trying to put a bun on, put, you know, hit and run, whatever it may be. If not, uh, you have a green light most of the time. I do most of the time. Every once in a while, certain counts, certain hitters, you know, certain points of the game, I'll get a red light. But for the most part, I have a green light. But uh, try to be smart and try to think along with them and what they like to do. And then, uh, you know, when I have all that information, I uh, start to, you know, start to get my lead, start to get the process going. All right, so let's let's get the lead. What do you do to get your lead? How many steps? How far out? What do you what, what do you trying to do yeah so first off I kind of stay in the back part of the bag so if pickoff comes get a little bit uh better chance of you know being safe not getting the tag on you but I, I usually just kind of keep casual give it a you know a couple steps off and then when I get to about right here I start to do a little bit of a shuffle I usually end up every field's different but I usually end up somewhere you know right around that uh, Man, that's a that big cutoff. lead yeah you feel good out here hey you gotta you gotta run a far 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 ways over there so, so that's what sure. about a 12 foot lead something yeah, like that? give or take a 12 13 feet so a little long but it also depends who is on the mound you know if I can read them well um, then I, I feel a little bit more comfortable and if they got that, that good pickoff move that good balk move then I, uh, I got to be careful so here. with all the information first base coach got to stop watch uh, everybody's got to stop watch pop times delivery times all that what times are you looking at that makes sense to you that you try to use best it depends on the pitchers you know sometimes I think guys slide step in it and they're a, one, two, one, three, which is pretty quick. But if I read them well, then I feel like I can turn that one, two, one, three into like a one, four, one, five, um, and vice versa. Some guys are slow, but for me, for some reason, I, you know, I can't read them very well. For me, it's a lot like hitting. Some guys you see well at the plate and some guys you don't, and it's a rhythm and there's a lot to it. So I, I usually base it off of, of the pitcher. Don't really pay too much uh, attention to the catcher, but you know, some of those guys back there can really throw as well. All right, so we got the lead. We got the intelligence, intel in our mind. What about your takeoff? How do you stand? What's your stance, and what do you try to do to take off? Um, every off season, I kind of work on work on that a little bit. I try to think of, you know, if I'm trying to do a broad jump or vertical jump, what position am I in? And usually it's actually a little bit narrower. Um, try not to get too wide and get stuck. So for me, I do like to open up this uh, this front foot a, a little bit, give me a chance, but I also don't like to get too, too wide because then I feel like, you know, if I'm in here, I can't get that good push going that way. So I try to... Uh, to keep a little open and then I try to be consistent every time. I want to make it look like I'm I'm going every time or not going every time. I want to be the same. Yeah, um, because you got everybody watching every oh, move yeah. you make over there. The whole coaching staff, you know, on the uh, other side of the field. So you is, put your hands on your knees to do that or you take them off? Well, and, and, uh, you know, now they, they try to mess with you all sorts of ways. So I, I usually stay with, you know, hands on my knees until they kind of come set and they're ready to deliver the ball. And then I kind of get in a little bit more athletic position and uh, try to get ready to go. All right, so a little bit of the, the foot open the tab yep. bit yep. in a nice athletic square position, and then you're ready to sp explode. Last thing, yep. are you thinking about on your first two steps, what are you thinking? Uh, low and gain as much ground as I can, get, get going. So uh, for me, drive my knees as, as much as I can up and then try not to kind of, I guess, cycle my legs behind me, but try to drive those knees and, and stay low and get, get, those, uh, get those legs working real quick. You ready to give me a look? Just one? I'll you try. Don't have to explode. I'll try. All right, here uh, we go. Yeah. I haven't Trey done. Turner, I haven't take off. I haven't done much warming up, but All we'll right. see. So, usually somewhere in here, and then I get a little bit more ready, and boom, nice and easy and smooth. You're smooth, man. He is smooth. That's how you do it. If you didn't learn anything right now, you weren't listening. That's Trey Turner, and that is stealing bases.